Okay, hello everybody. Uh, sadly, I don't have Ferguson with me because he's on the floor sleeping behind me, but this has to do with him, so that is why I'm making this video. This is all of his e-collar stuff. So, yeah, I kind of went all out. I got him, like, the best, high, longest range, highest power one. I got him a nice special collar for it. It's going to make it easier to put on. I got him the comfort pad. It's good for dogs with really long fur. Like, I got it all. And so I'm going to spend this video opening it all up and just kind of showing you my first impressions of it as I figure it out. So I did attempt e-collar training with my first dog, uh, Milo, the Shiba Inu, but I definitely did not know what I was doing at that time and that I gave up on that pretty fast. I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I, he wasn't really responding to it and I'm like, okay, never mind. We won't do that. Plus I was like 13, 14, like I was really young. So trying it again as my new dog. Done way more research now. Feel really confident that I know what I'm doing. So, this should be the collar. Yeah, not the e-collar itself, but the strap. Oh man, that's, that's a nice green. I kind of thought it was gonna be a little bit more kind of bright neon, but that's actually a beautiful foresty green. That is like emerald, my favorite type. Yep, perfect. I'm gonna shift this out of the way. You know what? Actually, gonna go to the floor with that. Alright, so let me take a quick second to open this. So the reason I got this is because the collar that the e-collar itself actually comes attached to is like the type of buckle where you have to string it through and like remember which hole, you know, you put it into so that it's the right tightness on the dog and just kind of if I've already tried putting that type of collar on Ferguson just in general, the kind he's wearing right now is actually that kind. But it's so hard to like tighten that right and not end up getting his fur like pinched in the process. It's, it's really, really annoying. So I knew that if the e-collar was that type of buckle and it was also the kind of thing where like you have to get the fit just right so the contact, <laughs> so the contact points are actually like touching their neck like it's supposed to, it was just gonna get really frustrating. Putting, taking it on and off, you know, every single day and all that. So they offered, these, man, this is like, it's biothane. That's nice. I've never actually felt biothane before, but I've always wanted to. Okay, you may notice that literally this is the exact type of color I was talking about. But the catch is, this is included. So I don't know why they don't put this on the original, because it would make a lot of people's lives so much easier. Everyone just ends up buying this, but yeah, this is going to be great because only once, unless it keeps growing, obviously I'll maybe have to change it, but basically only once I have to fit it right with the buckle part, cut off the excess that we don't need, and then from then on, I don't have to touch that. All I have to do is unbuckle and rebuckle it, and it's always going to be just tight enough to do its job and fit right every single time and just so much easier not to end up pinching him. And then the other neat thing is it includes this bungee section right here so that it can be tight enough without being rigid. So he's got a little more freedom to move, it'll be more comfortable for him, and he can turn his neck and like do all kinds of things, and that's just gonna be an extra comfort for him. Because that's my goal. Like I don't want him to actually be uncomfortable with this because he's gonna be wearing it, you know, a ton. So I don't want it to be something that's overly uncomfortable. So this is gonna help a lot with that. It looks like it also has <laughs> The ability to attach your leash to it. I don't know if I will do that. And also a spot to put your tags. Or maybe that's just for tucking the excess. I'm not sure which, but yeah. I will probably put his tags on it because he'd be wearing it anytime he goes outside, so he doesn't need to be wearing two collars. <laughs> one for tags and one for e-collar. Might as well just wear one. So there we go. That was the collar part. Now I can open this box. Time to get into here. Okay, sweet. So here's the comfort pad that I was talking about. Try to get the glare off of that a little bit. Um, extreme Ultra Wings. Yeah, I got the winged one also, which is good for really long coated dogs. So I got him that one because it's good for making everything stay like snug. Ah, 
snug on his uh, long fur. All right. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to put the box away. All right, this is it. So I got eCollar.com, the Educator Technologies, I think is what they're called. I got their boss system. So it's the one that has the longest range. So it can, uh, it can be connected and communicated with over a, up to a mile. So he could get a mile away from me and I could still communicate with him. Um, but also, the power is increased a little bit too. Not, I, I don't know if I would actually need that feature yet, but it just gives me some peace of mind knowing that since I do have, you know, a higher drive breed dog, and we do live in Alaska, where there is a lot more danger than a lot of places. There are moose around here, there are bears around here, there are hundreds of off-leash dogs and no one owns a fenced yard around here so everyone's dogs are just loose and free there are so many dangerous things that i want to basically feel confident oh if you can see him back there i want to feel confident that if he got really distracted by something and was really blowing off the recall and just taking off after a moose that i've got something that will snap him out of that focus and so I wanted to have the higher power one just in case but we've got customer service all right instructions nice nice obviously I won't read all of this on camera but I will read it off camera I've already watched a few people oh, I'm so excited <laughs> I've already watched a few people basically do like a tour of the whole thing and so I I'm pretty familiar already. So these are, I think, these are the longer ones, right? Yeah. So they already actually send you with longer contact points, just in case. Here's the actual collar and the length of the ones currently on there. These are slightly longer, good for longer coated dogs, but this should be best for the longest coated breeds, which Ferguson included as an Australian Shepherd. He does have a thicker coat. So there we go. Another biophane. I've also got a black one if I want, but again, I'll have to always deal with this annoying buckle thing. So I will be putting it on this beautiful green one instead. Oh man, I'm so excited. I don't know if it needs charged. I didn't think of that. I'm probably gonna have to charge it or something. They offer a clicker with it. I don't use a clicker, I just use a verbal marker, but. I think this is a belt clip. Yeah. Cool. I can belt clip, I'm assuming, the remote to myself. Oh my goodness, this is smaller than I thought it would be. It's so cute. <laughs> so this is the boss. And they've got a little carabiner, so I can take this and hook it up right there, like that. And then now I can keep it around my neck, keep it on me all the time. I probably am just gonna wanna shove it in a pocket, but. And then. I like this, so it's charged in the wall, and you get to charge both things at the same time with the same charger. That, I think, is really, really handy. Yeah, the other thing is both of these are really waterproof, so he could go swimming, I could go swimming and have this come with me, and we would be just fine. Um, but yeah, so both these things, every night I'll plug them in and make sure they're both charged up for the next day. I probably should just go plug it in right now, to be honest. Oh, hey, there's an outlet right next to me. Let's do that. Okay, I plugged them both in. They both have red lights now, let me show you. So there we go. Now the remote is lighting up red and the collar is also lighting up, which means that they are charging. What do you think, bud? <laughs> you checking it out? You checking it out? Hey. <laughs> what? Okay, so while those are charging, I will take a look at anything else in here that I've missed. So yeah, longer contact points. I think I've now pulled everything out. Perfect. Okay, so this is the belt clip. Also says, educator. I've managed to get that little piece put on the back of the remote. 
Turns out I could just use the tip of my uh, scissors and screw it in. So, so now, if you had this clipped to something, then all you would do is slip that in. And it can't fall out. It wrote, it actually spins and like swings freely. So that part's kind of nice. It's free to swing around, but it's not gonna slide out or anything until you hit this button and then it slips out super nice. So there we go. That's how the, uh, the clip works. So this baggie has a few different tools in it. Oh, okay, so this one is how you remove contact points. It's like the perfect shape, see that? So that you can unscrew them without doing it with your fingers because it could be hard. This is a little testing device. I know we're not done charging yet, but I would like to check it out and I'm pretty sure it should work. Let's turn this on and see what happens. I'm gonna hold down the on button. Sweet. Okay. Remote is now on. Can you read it? I think you can. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, there. So right now it's set to zero. So, no stim. You see it has an M and a C, so it's momentary and continuous. So that means this black button right here is just a quick momentary nick, basically. The red button will be set to stim, so as long as I roll it down, it goes off, but all, all of it's right now at zero. And I think even if I were to up it right now, let's go just to 10 for now. Now that I'm on 10, uh, I think because the collar is not on, it's not gonna say, oh, I take the back. It did flash red. So that quick flash red whoop, was the momentary. Now if I hit continuous, it should stay red. And let's see when it times out. It's supposed to time out at 10 seconds. Seconds to it. Ah, there it goes. Okay, that's as long as it'll go. If you want to lock the level, you would set it to whatever you want. We'll just stick with ten for now. And I believe you push down on this and hold. There. Now it should be stuck. It went down to eight because I guess my pushing rotated a little bit. But now, haha, nothing happens. When I twist it, it stays at eight. And I think if I want to unlock it, I would just hold down again. And now it changes. So there we go. Our remote is working. Now, so here is the cola. I want to test out the little piece and see it light up and do its thing. So I'm going to set it right here, just like that. Click, click. Clicks into place really nice. The collar actually has a button itself, which is right here. Um, I don't, don't remember if it's a quick, oh, quick tap. Boom. Green light. There it is. I'm gonna go up to 10. And let's see if it lights up, ready? <gasps> I see it, did you see it? So the collar light right here will go red at the same time that the remote does, like that. So that's a good sign, obviously they're talking. But also, I don't know if you can see it because there's already a lot of light in the room, but the tip of this is lighting up. It's just ever so slightly flickering. See that? I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now I can tell you can see it. There it is. So here, it's gonna be way easier to see if I just turn it up. I'm gonna go up to 50. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's way easier to see. Let's go to 100. Let's see how bright it gets. Here we go. 100 is just high on the remote. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's so much easier to see. See it all the way out here. That is a hundred. <laughs> nice. I am curious about feeling it myself though, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I've seen them say to set it on like your palm, like that. Hold it tight. So supposedly a human can't actually feel uh, really anything up until you get to like maybe 15 or so, while dogs are normally feeling it as low as like five, four even. Um, so, I'm gonna just start at five. We'll see if I feel anything. Hold on. Always do. It's like ever so slightly warm. 
Okay. It's so subtle though. It's very possible I'm making it up. Ten. Ooh! Definitely felt that. It was tingly. <laughs> yeah. It's tingling in my finger. It's the same feeling um, when like your your hand goes to sleep or something. And it kind of has like that, all that all those tingles as it's like waking up. That's what this feels like. It's a very tingly feeling. Not painful or anything. Just kind of weird. <laughs> oh, that's bright. I'm honestly a little bit blinded. <laughs> so that's the flashing. We'll tap it again. Solid. That's good. That's a really. Oh, I gotta quit looking at it. That's really bright. That would be so easy to see him in the dark. Okay. Turn it off again. There we go. Now I'm gonna replace this. Let's also be putting on the comfort pad at the same time. So taking it off of the black buckle only collar, or belt only collar. <laughs> that was a little louder than I would have liked, but I think it's okay. There we go. Okay, while I've got it like this, and I don't have a big collar coiled up in the way, I'm gonna mess with the contact points. So we're gonna unscrew them with this little piece right here. Wait. There we go. Ah! Dropping everything. Okay. Here's one little one. And then there's the second one. Oh. <laughs> Get out of there! Okay, there's the two little ones. Now to put on the comfort pad. Okay, these little guys, don't lose those. Boom. So there's the wing one. And the way it's gonna work is rather than obviously having little contact points to be screwed on, it'll be these things <laughs> that are gonna keep it there. So, there. So there's that. It's on there now. I put it on this way because otherwise I think it would have gone over this little box piece a bit, which then it wouldn't have gone down all the way. Only concern right now is it blocks the power button a little bit, but I think I can still reach it. I don't think that's going to be an issue. So there. Now, again, make sure it's fairly tight. So it's not going anywhere. Boom! There we go. Change the contact points. So this should help because now it's got points right here for contact, but also these winged points out here. I'm curious as to if all of this touches. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe only these touch and these don't at all. I'm not really sure. But somehow, this helps when you have a long coated dog. This is supposed to help get through all of that coat and make sure you have consistent contact so that your collar works. Ferguson will be really reliable at you know, subjectively lower levels. Bob is blanky over there. <laughs> it's pink because it actually belonged to Oasis originally, who's right there behind him. <laughs> I gave her the pink blanket, but she wasn't using it much anymore, and he adores blankets. They're like his favorite thing in the world. And so I was like, here, you can have another blanket, because it was after he had like pooped on one of his old ones and I had to throw it away. I was like, okay, here's a new one, and <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> it's very cute. He takes it and snuggles it, or chews on it, or wants to play tug with it. That's his biggest thing. Always wants to play tug with it. <laughs> okay, next up is putting it on this one. This is a beautiful green. I'm super happy about it. I was, I almost got him just another black one with the buckle, but in the end, I was like, like, I watched enough videos of dogs that had the green one, and I'm like, okay, it looks really good. It looks pretty. Maybe I'll like it. Oh, I love it even more in person. There we go. Okay, we're finally at least looped all the way around it. Just gotta keep feeding it. This biophane is a lot less flexible than I expected. It's a very stiff material, but it's a very good material. It will not absorb... It will not absorb smells, it won't absorb the liquid, it will stay easy to clean, and 
not stinky or stained or soaked with water or anything like that. It's going to be a very nice, durable material. Ugh, but it's very hard to feed into the collar. Okay, we're getting there. You're slowly making progress here. We're that far. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn the camera back on when I'm done. Okay, I kind of figured out what helps. <laughs> if you go all the way um, with like one loop, basically, one section, and then continue it going the other direction so that you're really only not trying to pull it through like all three points at once, but just one all the way, then do the second one all the way, basically like this. There we go. And then the third one all the way, like that. It's a lot easier. There we go. Finally, we got it. Then I can finally cut off all this stuff and get it out of the way. And then the scholar will be ready. There. That is me setting up Ferguson's new e-collar. The comfort pad is green, bungee collar. It's just going to make everything so much easier because then when it's time to put it on, it's just an easy clip like that. Much better. So yeah. There we go. That's the video I wanted to make. It was just my like first impressions of the collar, figuring it all out, replacing all the parts that I want. And yeah, so all that's left is to let these things charge up and then fit it to him. Read this. I definitely want to skim this a little bit. And then yeah, now I guess update on like how training is going and how I'm using it. So yeah. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!